Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero with a little surprise. Today, I'm going to be playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So this is just uh, something fun. Uh, I probably won't beat it. I just want to play this and see how far I can get. Um, and uh, use this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing next. So uh, next, uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start playing uh, two games at once. I'll play a Nintendo game and uh, a Super Nintendo game at the same time. So um, probably still just one video a day, but there might be some days that I'll have two. And um, my first uh, Nintendo game is going to be uh, I'm having trouble deciding. I'm thinking that I think I'll do next. Um, maybe okay. Well, I've never played it before, and uh, and I've, I've got recommendations uh, for a bunch of games. So I think the next game I'm going to play is um, Low G Man. Uh, and that'll be my Nintendo game. And while I'm playing Low G-Man, I will be playing uh, Earthbound, or Mother 2. So, um, Earthbound is a, you know, an RPG that, that uh, takes a long time, so that'll be kind of like the standby. It'll, it'll keep going. And uh, Low G Man, I'm guessing, will not take as much time. Now I've heard it's a hard game, so I, uh, you know, I might fail, but um, but, but we'll see. Uh, I may have to do a few uh, level zero videos, but or uh, take zero videos rather. But uh, yeah, so this is. Um, this is Punch-Out, and uh, this is a game that I grew up playing. I I used to, uh, I, I still have memories of um, playing this, and I'd, I'd get to a certain place, because you know you can... They give you uh, passwords, but they don't give you a save. It's not battery back memory, so if you turn the game off, you lost where you were, except for these places where... These places where they, they would... Um, it would give you a password, so I would play until I got to as far as I could get, and, and I remember one time I got to uh, Mr. Sandman, I think it was probably the first time I had ever gotten to Mr. Sandman, and it was time to go to church. You know, I mean, I was a kid, I was like, I don't know, maybe 10 or something, or maybe I was, maybe I was 11. And so I left the game on the whole time while I was at church, and uh, came back home, and then promptly lost, because basically the first time that you play a guy on, on this game is pretty much guaranteed that you're going to lose. Um, and you know, this is an interesting game. It doesn't have... A, it looks like a boxing game, but it really doesn't have anything in common with boxing. It's uh, It's got a lot more to do with timing. Um, you know, a real boxing game, you would think, would would let you walk around, you know, but with this game, it's, it's basically a, a you know, timing and reading your opponent and knowing kind of what their patterns are. Uh, you know, trying not to make silly mistakes. And you know, I'm not I'm not doing anything special here. Uh, there's some some really great stuff out there. Um, Kingdom Cards has an excellent excellent uh, I don't know what you call it a how-to uh, on just how to wail at this game. Um, you know, do all sorts of things that are just totally unnatural that, that you'd never think to do. Um, and I'm not following any of that. I'm, I'm playing it the same way that I played it when I was a kid. Um, I haven't taken the time to, to learn any of his special techniques yet. But, uh, yeah, these, these first three guys are pretty easy. I mean, there, there's a little bit you have to know. But uh, you know about like you know how to how to tell when he's gonna throw a punch or 
or uh, see, so yeah, that was three. I think that's three times already. So the basic rules to this are: if you can knock a guy out three times in one round, it's a technical knockout. You win. The only other way to win, well, there's three ways you can win. You can get a technical knockout. You get a knockout in a round, um, which which just means that the guy doesn't stand back up. And then uh, the last way is by a split decision. So every fight lasts a, a maximum of three rounds. Um, I just want to point out on the screen, this used to be amazing, multiple scrolling backgrounds. I remember when, when I first saw this, I thought it was amazing, because I'd never seen a game that had multiple scrolling backgrounds on it like that. Um, so that's the uh, password to get to the fourth boxer. And it doesn't change. There's, it's always the same password. Um, but the the last time that I that I played this was probably I don't know a couple of years ago. Um, maybe it was only a year ago. The last time I played this was when the new Punch Out game for the Wii came out, which is also an excellent game. See, so this guy, he, you have to hit him first, and then you just wail on him. Um, there's faster ways to get him, but um, again, I don't, I don't really know them. I watched Kingdom Hearts video, and I'll, I'll link to that, um, to that, to the first video in that series. Um, but Kingdom Hearts is just, you know, very well-made videos. They're funny uh, and very informative. But anyway, um, so. This game doesn't have very much to do with boxing because you don't walk around like a boxer. You don't block like a boxer. There is a block move you can do, but usually it's not actually very useful. Um, and if you throw punches like a boxer would, you probably lose. Um, you know, there's really only five different punches in the whole game. So yeah, uh, and then they've got these crazy characters like King Hippo. Where they're, you know, they have a, a special gimmick. So, of course, this is one of the first games I remember seeing with. Um, if you look at his stomach here, you'll see what became common later is the weak spot on the stomach. Lots of games use this gimmick now. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe he has a hernia. That's what it kind of looks like. But if you have a hernia, then why are you boxing, right? Oh, okay, so this is what happens if, when you turn, you turn purple if you run out of hearts. And you run out of hearts if you get blocked too much. Oh, I really thought he was going to do it. Oh! I meant to push up on that one. Um, so yeah, this will be the first knockout that you'll see, because, um, yeah, you'll see that he can't get up, because, you know, it's funny to make fun of fat people. Number ten, knockout. Thank you, Mario. So again, if you know what to do, all of the fights up until now are pretty easy. They're, they're just follow the pattern. Make sure that you don't do anything stupid. Here, things get a little bit more interesting, because he starts doing some weird stuff that... Oh, see, I'm not doing well at all. See, his head piece, he's got this jewel that flashes. If you can hit him while it's flashing, then you can get a star. And a star means that you can throw a, a really strong punch. Like a haymaker. So, see he's got some patterns here. He'll do this a few times. It kind of gives you an opportunity to wail on him. Alright, I didn't know that he, he was going to do that till he fell. <clears throat> but uh, things will change drastically as we move through. Um, or they'll remain exactly the same. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to knock him down three times in this round. Because I didn't get any stars. Oh, see, now he's going to do it. See, this is really... I think this might be the only time in the game 
that uh, that the, the block is absolutely absolutely required. You can't block or you can't dodge that punch. It's kind of a it's called it the tiger punch, I think. But see, there's the end of round one. This first time we've gotten to another round. So when you're here, uh, you know they do this little back and forth banter thing. That the pictures on the right change a little bit. If you've hurt him a lot. You know, depending on how, how much he's been hurt. So see, he has a band-aid over his eye. I've knocked him down twice, and I haven't been knocked down yet. So one thing here is if you press the select button one time, you'll get the maximum amount of health back. If you press it a lot, you get less health. And I don't really know what that's all about, but see, if I press select, you'll notice that my trainer's fist will move faster. Oh, that's not the select button. Darn. Uh, is that button? Um, yeah. Well, I won't worry about it. Okay, I, I guess I don't have the uh, buttons mapped properly for my controller, but... Okay, so he starts out now with a tiger punch. So we have to block that. One hit, punch, and he's out. Which is great, because that means 22 seconds in, well, each round is only three minutes, although it's not really seconds, so it's less than three minutes, but it's, it counts up to three minutes. Um. Oh, so he's gonna do this thing. I'm really bad at timing that for some reason. There we go. See? And I do it again. Darn. I totally wasted. I, I lose a star because I, I didn't. Because I got hit. I was gonna use that star to totally knock him out. But see, so there's. That's pretty good. I mean, it's it's on the bubble because it's two times in two minutes. If it gets to three minutes, then we'll have to go to the third round. He's gonna do it again. Come on, go faster! See how close that was? Okay, so that's the third time now, I think. Yeah, TKO. See, if that had gone to three minutes, the round would have been over and we would have had to play a third round. And then it, well, then it probably would have gone to split decision. It's the same thing would have happened again. Alright. This next boxer is probably the most iconic boxer in the whole game. I don't know, he's probably my favorite. Bald Bull. He totally looks like he's from Turkey. Look how huge he is compared to me. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, he's like a giant. And he's got some complex patterns. And uh, he's got a really scary thing he calls the Bull Charge, which uh, you basically just block, or you basically just dodge over and over, or you have to punch him like just at the perfect time to uh, to knock him out. And I don't know, we'll, we'll probably get a chance to see it, because I'm not doing anything fancy which would keep him from doing the Bull Charge. I love how these guys spit. You know, it's like their thing is... You made me spit! I punch him and he spits. Punch spit. Every time I hit him in the face, he spits. And his eyes... that's pretty cool too. Oh, see, here's the bull charge. And I missed the timing on it. You have to throw a perfectly timed punch to get the bull charge to work. To get up, you have to press A and B really fast. So that's pretty good. I've knocked him down twice, although if I would have been able to knock him down on that bull charge, that would have been ideal. Because I missed that, I probably will not be able to beat him in this round. I mean, I, I don't have enough time, I think, to get him there. I'll see he's gonna do another one. Yeah! Perfect timing! I did! So I got him. That's a TKO, I think. Yeah. Awesome. That's one of the best performances ever for me on uh, Walt Bull. Knocking him out in the first round like that's just amazing. 
Well, that's that circuit. 